Hey guys, welcome again to another video here on our channel. So we're gonna be talking about traveling to Mexico because of spring break is upon us. So a lot of people are looking for destinations and I know that Mexico is one of the high places that a lot of Americans would like to go to. Also, specifically Cancun because it's a popular area for tourists coming from the US or Canada to go to Mexico during, especially during the spring break. So I wanna provide you with three different uh, things that you need to be paying attention for when you go to Mexico or Cancun specifically. And also I wanna show you four hotels to see if this could be actually the hotels where you wanna stay. So stick around as we start this mini series of Cancun, Mexico. So welcome to our channel. If you're new to our channel, we are the Ponzo Adventure. And here on our channel, we provide you with travel tips and also with flight and hotel reviews. So that way you can be able to travel safe, maximize your trip, and enjoying it at the same time. So if this is something or travel content that you actually enjoy watching, be sure that you actually subscribe to our channel if you're not a subscriber. And if you enjoy watching this video, please be sure to smack the like button. And we're trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. And if we do, we actually have a giveaway that we're going to be giving to one lucky winner. So let's start our video now. So if you're going to Mexico, right now actually, at this moment as I'm recording this video, the US government has a warning travel to Mexico right now. So they basically say if you do not have urgency to go to Mexico, which I think vacation is urgency, right? But if you're not in need to actually travel to Mexico, they are saying, please consider your travels. So they are warning people because there's, there could be potential kidnapping or there could be potential being at the wrong place at the wrong time. So because of the, the lot of issue happening in Mexico with the cartel and the drug war, it's basically spreading elsewhere, which is causing problem specifically for the travelers or tourists that are going to Mexico. So the US government is basically saying, if you don't have to travel, please postpone your travel until it's safer. But again, if you must travel, you have to be able to exercise cautions, just as you will do anywhere in the world. You always have to be cautious of where you're going. So it is important that you stay safe, you know where you are, you don't go wandering around, you basically stay around people that you know or stay closer to your hotel. Uh, specifically, if you are in the hotel zone in Cancun, it is important that you actually know your surroundings and then you're protecting yourself. Uh, stay safe and you wanna come back home when you go on this vacation. The primary goal of going on vacation is to enjoy yourself and not to get hurt. So exercise, caution if you must go and you must travel to Cancun, Mexico. The second thing you need to know is if you're going to Cancun, Mexico, is actually spread out. So a lot of people see on the videos Cancun and think it's just the hotel zone. It is not so. Cancun is huge, right? So you can be in a hotel zone uh, or you can be downtown area or you can be also in other parts, Riviera area, or you can actually be in absolutely north of the city. And anywhere from there to bottom, it can take anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour to get from one place to the other. So you just have to know where you are and where you're going. So it is huge. So if you have to select where you're going, be sure you actually select based on your preference and what type of activities you wanna do. So if you're going to Mexico to relax and to just be in the hotel, so I would really suggest getting a hotel that has everything they're providing, either dance at nighttime or they have a lot of activities happening. So that way you're not needing to go out. And also it depends really whether you wanna stay on a resort or if you just wanna stay in a regular hotel. So those are the options that you wanna do. So you wanna think about really where do you wanna go in relation, where you wanna go in Cancun. So that way you're not getting stuck somewhere that you really are not enjoying. For example, if you stay in a hotel that is really in the far north or south, there's not really a whole lot much happening for like nightlife. So you wanna think about maybe staying right by the downtown or the hotel zone where the party is, where everything is happening. And if you're looking to just relax and you don't want any noise of the music playing 24 seven, maybe staying away from the hotel zone or downtown area is actually best for you. The next thing we wanna talk about is transportation. So if you're going to Mexico, if you're going to Cancun in general, there are a couple ways that you actually can get around the area, right? So you have either private taxi, where you can work with these companies and hire them ahead of time. And then you also have the second part, which is taxi, regular taxi you can hire when you arrive at the airport. You also have the buses that are available that can take you from a different hotel like in, or can take you from the airport all the way to Tulum, Playa de Carmen, and you also have rental car. Now, it is always advised to book ahead of time because it can be a 
really busy season and a lot of people are going there and you can miss on the transportation or if you find one it's actually going to be double or triple of the price of that you could have paid initially if you pre-booked so there are different companies that you can work with we've worked with nexus again this is not sponsored by them we're not calling them out there's other companies out there but i'll just say like nexus is one of the companies that we've worked with and they were able to actually take us from uh, the hotel to um, the airport or around the, the, the town area. Uh, we've also rented a car. Now this is really cautionary. I wouldn't I wouldn't advise you driving in Mexico if you're not familiar with the Mexican laws or if you're also not comfortable really, really driving there. Also because the rental car companies will try to nickel and dime you a lot because they know that you need to rent a car and because of that they have these pricing that out of nowhere that will appear uh, because they have a mandatory Mexico insurance. So your price could be $100, only to find out later on that the price actually triple or quadruple. So you just want to make sure that you're really cautious when you're booking a rental car with one of the companies there in, in Cancun airport. Or also the one thing you can do is not book it at the airport and book in the city because that pricing, apparently that mandatory fee does not exist if you actually rent it in the city. So if you have to rent it at the airport, they are going to charge you with that mandatory insurance fee that could be even double of the price of your rental. So you can save yourself headache by actually planning uh, to whatever the price you see online, just double that. Um, that will save you a lot of headaches. You can also negotiate with them if you speak Spanish. I've done that in the past where I just negotiate with them and say, I can't pay for this. Can you reduce the price? And if they're really willing to work with you, the, the rental company will actually work with you. Uh, and the other thing that you want to do is make sure you bring the credit card that is acceptable there if you have to rent a car in Mexico or in Cancun. So that way you avoid any headaches. I've seen people come in trying to rent a car and they bring a debit card only to be told, no, you cannot use this here. So just be prepared to bring a major credit card if you're going to be renting a car there. Now that we've talked about this part, uh, the next thing is really just what type of booking that you want to do. Where do you want to stay? Do you want to stay, again, as I stated earlier, in the city area, or do you want to stay somewhere far away from the city? And then the other option is, do you want to have all-inclusive resort, or you just want to go to Mexico and actually stay in a hotel because you're going to be out anyway doing other activities. So if you decide to make that choice, then you have different options that I'll be providing to you right now. So if you're going for the low budget, the first hotel that I have that I can provide to you is the Residence Inn by Marriott. This hotel is located close enough to the hotel zone, but it's just in the beginning of the hotel zone, closer to the airport. Uh, they actually have rooms available, whether it's one bedroom, uh, whether it's a studio, uh, whether it's two bedroom for family, larger families, they do have that option. They also have a, a nice pool, they provide breakfast in the morning for their guests, but they do not have lunch or anything like an evening canopy that are available to other residents in the US. Uh, so that does not exist. So the only thing available for you is going to be breakfast. Again, it's cheaper option in comparison to actually paying for all inclusive. The only downside is you have to find your own place for lunch and you have to find your own place for uh, dinner. The other option that we have is the Fairfield Inn or the courtyard that is located closer by to the airport side as well. So for that as well, it's cheaper on the cheaper side. Rooms can range anywhere between $70 and up to maybe $200 depending on the season, depending on how many people and how fully they are booked. So those are the hotels that I recommend and the lower end because they are available. Uh, they do have pool as well. So they're not by the beach, but they do have pool options for you. The next option that I'm going to be providing is a hotel. And these are the hotels really more on the high end and all inclusive and in no particular order. And I, again, I'm not endorsing any of these hotels. I'm just providing to you the hotels because we've stayed there before and we've enjoyed our time there. So here's the hotel that the first one I'll recommend is actually the Grand Admoon Palace. Now this resort is huge. They have multiple hotels in that property. So they have the Moon Palace, they have the Grand Admoon Palace, and they have the Nizuk. And all these three hotel uh, properties are located under the same area. Depending on which one you stay at, you will have access to the others. So if you're staying at the Grand at the Moon Palace, you do have access to the Nizuk and you also have access to the Moon Palace. But if you are going just to the, to the Moon Palace, then you do not have access to the Grand. You have to actually pay a fee. But right now, I'm just really concentrating on the Grand at Moon Palace because we've stayed there three times already. This hotel is huge, it's gorgeous. We actually have a full video on our channel detailing our trips many many times that we've been there so you can actually see that hotel uh, there i'll link 
them here in the card so you can be able to actually see it. Again, this is one of the hotels that we recommend that is all inclusive. It's actually a five star hotel. The only downside about that hotel, the beach area is not as blue as in the hotel zone. But you do have access to their sister property that's actually also on the beach area. So you can take a day shadow, I think for a fee. They can take you there. You can spend the whole day there. You can access their, their restaurants that are available there. And then you can be able to just use the facility there. And when you're done, come back. They have amazing beach views, crystal clear blue water. You're not going to be disappointed. The second hotel that we have to recommend is going to be the Royalton. So the Royalton uh, Hotel, uh, Royalton Rivera, which is basically another resort that is a autograph re resort by Marriott. And we had a great time there, although we had some issues in the hotel, but overall I think it was a great stay as well. I'm not going to diss them so much. We have a video actually coming up on the review of that hotel that will detail our experience there, but we also already have a video now that details how our day one went and then we're going to put some other videos to detail how the rest of our trip was as well so i'll put also link that video here you can be able to check that out that will be hotel number two that is part of our uh, recommendation for all-inclusive resort in cancun and the last resort that we're going to recommend is actually the hyatt in uh, Riviera as well Cancun so I'm going to link the name here the actual spelling and we also going to be putting a video fully out for that hotel and this one we actually went just as a couple uh, it was a great time to spend there as they were actually renovating because this used to be one of the dreams hotel and they and Hyatt was able to transform that into one of their brands uh, it was really a great experience staying there in that hotel. It's all inclusive. Uh, the pricing actually was a little bit cheaper than staying at the Grand at the Moon Palace or the Royalton. Again, right now it could be different, but when we stayed there, we paid, I think per night, it was anywhere close to $279 per night, which is really good, right? So we spent there for about three nights in that hotel. It's a little bit further away from everything else, but again, no complaints there. Great hotel, super quiet. Um, definitely recommend if you're traveling either with children, family, or if you're going by yourself. These are the three uh, hotels that we recommend if you're going for splurging and just want to stay in the resort with everything available in the resort. And then we also provided you with three hotels that you can stay in if you want to go more of economical, budget-friendly time uh, because I think there's advantage in doing both. Uh, you can't just go there and spend tons of money versus you can actually go and being able to be economical and still have a great time. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know. Um, and if you enjoy watching this content and you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing to our channel. And if you enjoy watching this video, make sure you like the video and leave us a comment on what you would like to see more uh, from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.